trying to stay hydrated. How's it going everybody? Today is March 20th, 2020. Uh, obviously you all know what's going on in the world right now. Don't really need to explain anymore. But yeah, I'm, I'm bored. So I figured I'm going to review, review a product that was sent to me very kindly by one of my favorite companies in the entire universe. And they did not ask me to review this product. They did not ask me to, to do anything with this product. They just wanted to send it to me because they were cool like that. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's jump let's jump right into it. You ready to see what it is? I'm sure you are. That's, you know what? Why, why, am, I, why am I still talking? Why am, I, why am I still sitting here talking? You just, you're like, Jared, you're still, you're still, Let's talk about it. So this is the Corvo EKG electric kettle, which I think EK stands for electric kettle, and I'm not entirely sure what G stands for, but regardless, the Corvo EKG electric kettle by Fellow. It's cool. I mean, it doesn't really do anything that special. It just looks, I mean, just, just take a second. Just take a second and look. Just. It just looks awesome. And I'm a big fan of, of, especially stuff that's like matte black or black because I usually wear like all black, especially at my work. So generally anything that's like all black, I'm, ooh, I'm game for, especially matte black. <sighs> matte black is, mm, it is a it is a sight to behold. So just to explain a little bit about what it is, yes, it is an electric kettle. It comes with this plate, this is like base plate area. And uh, this is what you use to heat up the water. You've got a little button right here that whenever you click it, it turns on and it will say, you know, what temperature it is. And then the button also acts as a dial to let you adjust the temperature. So you can set a very specific temperature for this. On the back, you've got two different switches. You've got one that controls Fahrenheit and Celsius. And then another one that says hold, and then the other one is blank. I'm actually not entirely sure what this switch does. I, if I had to guess, I would say that the switch that doesn't say hold, basically when this kettle gets to temperature, it just cuts itself off. And then the hold feature is the feature that I use, wherein whenever it gets up to temperature, it just holds it there for a set amount of time. Nothing overly crazy or, or special about it. It just, it just looks great. It probably looks really familiar because if you remember, I actually own the Stag EKG by Fellow. Now this is just the exact same thing, it's just the gooseneck version. This one's probably geared a bit more towards like tea drinkers because it doesn't have like a very specific spout for say pouring coffee. However, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna, we're gonna make some coffee with this puppy and, and see how it goes. I'm curious, I, I'm curious as to what pour over coffee looks like, can you do it? with this kettle. I feel pretty confident that you can without any sort of issues. Um, but yeah, the pouring motion is generally really, really precise. And so that's why you want a gooseneck kettle so you have as much control as possible. A spout like this, I, don't, I still have a lot of control with this spout because I have used this kettle a couple of times just making like tea and that sort of thing. Um, so anyways, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's, let's heat up some water and let's make some coffee. Need some water. Okay, uh, I'm trying to get it to 212. It's at 210, close enough. I, I want it to be as hot as possible, but you know, it, it's, it's fine. By the way, some of you are probably wondering how long it takes to heat up water. Uh, I did a little test yesterday, a chilled, full bottle of water like this, but this one's not full. Anyways, a chilled full bottle of water, two minutes and 55 seconds. Chilled, like from like out of the refrigerator. So from cold to boiling, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, cause I'm, I'm an American, so we're gonna do Fahrenheit. Um, two minutes and 55 seconds. It's, that's pretty good. I don't really have anything to compare it to, but I, I mean, I imagine that's, anyway. Alrighty. We're gonna make a Chemex. Uh, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna talk about how to make a Chemex. Uh, I've, I've got a video about that if you wanna watch it. It's up here. Just just go click on that or I'll put it, maybe I'll link it down in the back. Anyways, uh, 
yeah, not, not gonna go through the specifics. We're just going to make a super quick, kind of small Chemex. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do 30 grams on the coffee just because I, I don't really need a lot of coffee right now, so. Okay, first things first. The first thing I'm really most curious about is how does it pour? And so we're gonna go ahead and pre-wet our filter and, uh, and yeah, this should, this should give us a pretty good indication. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's pro, oh, oh. That's probably gonna be tough. Okay. Not ideal for coffee just yet. It's not looking like it is. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a super, super quick bloom. Ooh. Okay. A little heavy on the, uh, little heavy on the bloom. To be honest, you know, seems like it was anyways. Get up to, yeah, about right there. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, it's it's basically the same. You could definitely make coffee with this. I guess I'm just used to having so much control with this stag because the stag pours so slowly. If you only knew, like, it's just like, it's so precise. And it's also weighted, which this one is too. So like your pour is very precise every single time, but definitely the elongated gooseneck spout on the gooseneck kettle on the stag, uh, you know, yeah, that's obviously going to be easier. Alrighty, let's go ahead and give it a little pour. Make sure we get all the grounds wet. Bam. 481. Close enough. Oh, it went back down to 480. Never mind. Give it a little stir. By the way, if you are wondering what coffee I'm using, I'm using Big Trouble by Counterculture. Uh, this is just kind of what I've been drinking here lately. Okay, so yeah. That, that seemed, that was pretty, pretty effortless. Uh, and then again, obviously whenever you're done with the water, you just hit the button and turn it off and you know, Bob's your Uncle Fanny's your aunt. You can definitely make coffee with this. It's not probably ideal for coffee. If, if you're gonna spend the money on the Corvo, I would say, it's, if you're a coffee drinker, I would say go with this stag. But the Corvo is, I mean, I, I love this little guy so far. And again, it came from Fella, so I'm a little bit biased because Fellow is the greatest company in the universe. So, take it or leave it. I'm gonna wait for this to finish, then I'm gonna drink my coffee. So, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I guess I'll just plan to see you in the next one, whenever that is. Sooner than later, I'm sure, because I'm on quarantine, so uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing more videos out of me over the next couple weeks. All right, have a good one, bye.